Where are you going with the chips and dip? Uh, now, we, if somebody, if you have a good friend that makes some good guacamole, that's always fire. But the problem with guacamole is it'll, it might get bad in the sun. So, and it's not American. It's not American. Okay. Right? You want, Salsa, not American. Exactly. You're looking for, what is it? The, the sour, was it sour? Um, sour cream and onion? Yeah. Or, like the, the, um, or the like that, that how they do like that, that, the ranch dip and all yes, that. Yes, the ranch dip. You're looking for the whiter dips. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm only, I'm talking about the dips are white, not that they're white. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Modern Waiter Podcast. I'm Marlon Joseph, the Modern Waiter, where we discuss all things restaurant business. Learn something. Laugh at something. <laughs> On today's episode, it's Red, White, and Food, July 4th Food Favorites. But first, the intro. Tired of working deadbeat jobs for lame pay. I'm tired of getting fired and hired the same day. If you know the rules of the game, then you'll stay. And if you As usual, I'm joined by my good friend Danny DeVilla. What's up, what's up, what's up, people? Now, when you think of July 4th, you're thinking barbecue. Yes. Look, you're I'm already prepared. Grilling. I got, oh, I got it on. Oh, yes. Yeah, we are representing the flag today. That's right. <laughs> I mean, July 4th, to me, has not been a big thing where we just finished the last of the restaurant holidays. Yeah. Father's Day. Yes. And we don't have a, another major one, for us anyway, till what, um, Thanksgiving? Pretty much. Thanksgiving's the yeah. first one. Oh, yeah. And so, the, the you know, our place is just not a July 4th spot. No. It's not a bar spot. It's not on the beach, necessarily. It's not where... You, however, it, it'll be it'll be it'll be busy it'll for be me. Busy for it'll you. be steady because you know there'll be there's people on the beach. You're I right, right on, the, on beach. the beach. Yeah, I mean, but it won't be. It's still July Fourth is a big uh, barbecue holiday. You know, people are doing the barbecue. They're doing the pool. They're they're chilling. They're having a good time. If you're local, yeah. But people are in town. Yeah, people will be in town. You know, so so be we'll be town. steady. You'll be steady. Yeah. But for you, it's like an annoying holiday. True. It's not necessarily like a great profitable holiday. Oh, man, the traffic. Yes. It's, it's nuts, yo. The traffic, and then you get the people that are straggling trying to hold on to the fireworks. Oh, yeah. And that's, that's where, you know, you get the campers and all of that. I used to have people that would sit at, like, Late lunchtime mm -hmm. and, and asking me about the fireworks. The fireworks are like nine o'clock, and I tell them you're it, not going to be here for that. Yeah, it's not even. It's you're four hours till it gets dark. Yes. Okay. I mean, they do a good job doing it right when it gets dark. Yeah. Summertime. It's perfect. Usually around nine o'clock yep. where we are, South mm -hmm. Florida. But come on, man, you think you're gonna sit here for from, hours from four, four thirty? Not happening. Yeah. Nuts. Because uh, the beach has a good fireworks show. Yeah, it's a great show. And. I mean, so let's get back to it. We're talking grilling. Yes. When I used to live in Buffalo, it was a big deal, 4th of July, going to the park, mm -hmm. uh, grilling out. People still go to the beach and grill out, but yeah. you got to go super early. early. Unless you're bringing your own damn grill. Can you? I don't even know. That would not be a bad, bad idea. Yeah, like the little portable ones? Yes. Yeah. Is I have one. Yeah. I've taken it to, to football games and stuff nice. like that. But yeah. I mean, I got it. Because I'm, you just got to find a grill. I mean, there's spots on the beach that have the grills. But, yes. But they're, like you said, they're limited. If you're not the first ones there, you, you're you, SOL. What happens is you send some scouts to yeah. go save the this, this spots around the grill. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the cavalry comes later on. Yeah. Because you got to get there pretty, pretty early, early in the morning. Yeah. And then people start filing in around you and things like that. I know my ex did it one time. I, I don't I don't mess when when it comes time for, to be crowded up and stuff. Leave me yeah, out of it. Yeah. I'm not having it. Even going <laughs> to the fireworks is kind of giving me the hives, you know? Because you're hurting in with everybody, you're yeah. waiting with everybody, you're looking up with everybody, and then when it's time to go home, the traffic. Oh yeah. And I think even on the beach now, at least last year, they had they had an act, they had flow rider. Oh, okay. Yeah, so so like they'll have like a concert going on, make it even more crowded. Yeah, which, which is fine. You know, what I mean, it's good for business. It's good for business. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's that's cool because it gives people something to do. Yeah, and it makes a whole affair. This year, I believe July Fourth is on a Thursday. Thursday. It is. So I'll be probably working my regular schedule, and we are diggity 
dead. Are you guys? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you guys don't even face the fireworks. It'd be different if you did. <laughs> yeah, that's you guys true. face the back, you know, I mean, you face the intercoastal, which is fine, but. We, we look west. Yeah. Where beach the, is east. The beach is totally east. We okay. can totally walk to the beach. Yeah. I mean, no. you can you can walk out your front door and see the fireworks perfectly. Yes. But you, but you have, there's not even one seat in that building that faces east. Not one. <laughs> So we are on the water, which is the intercoastal, which runs parallel to the ocean. Yeah. And we could just walk to the beach. Oh, no yeah. Problem. No question. Five minutes. Five minute walk. Yeah. Nice little cruise. And if you turned around, I, I come to think of it, I think I'm taking off. <laughs> <laughs> it's useless. Yeah. I only, I only work lunch and then I'm supposed to go to a party. Okay. You're more than welcome to come. Thank and, you. And, and it's a good time. What party are you going to? Um, our boy uh, Chris, who's been on the show, okay, he DJs on the side. Yeah. Um, one of his uh, good friends um, lives right on the the Venetian Isles, mm, and it's and, they, Eve. and he does a great Fourth of July party. Does and he, he rent? No, no, he owns. Oh. It's a pool. It's beautiful. They do the fireworks, everything. And he it's, owns on the Isle. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Ooh. Yeah, it's awesome. Is it a condo? No, it's a it's a house. It's you'll love it. I've been going the last couple of years. Yo. Okay, it's a good time. All if right. you're off, definitely come on through. All right. Yeah, we'll do the damn thing. Now, <laughs> what what food comes to mind? Oh, it's all barbecue, on baby. July Fourth, ah. like a specific food. I know it's all grilling. Yeah, burgers. Uh, I mean, you're, a burger's off the rip. Hot dog, Hot bro. Do- <laughs> Come on. The dirty dogs, some the sausages. Dirty dogs. If you're if you're at a really bougie spot, you might get some steak or some brisket going. <laughs> well, that all that all plays, man. Yeah. Uh, you got the pulled pork going. Oh. So let's talk about hot dogs because the Nathan's. Um, oh, that's the same time, right? Is that the same day? It, yeah, it's 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 July fourth. Yes, the, the Nathan's hot dog eating championship. Yes. Do you watch it? I've I've perused it the last couple of years. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun to watch. I used to watch when Kobayashi and uh, like he was he was the man murdering yeah. people. He was killing him with the dog. <laughs> and he would get, uh, was he the first guy to 50? I can't remember. But he was so good far and away. And then Joey Chestnut came up. Yeah. And, and Chestnut was, like, eating his lunch. Then there was a contract dispute between Kobayashi and the league, mm-hmm. the, you know, the competitive food eating league, where they wouldn't let him participate because he was contracted with another, you know, really? okay. sponsor and stuff like that. And, and, and he had gotten injured. And so, how you get injured eating? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily him eating, getting injured, but I think he had like maybe an ab something. Okay, he because he was ripped. Yeah, if you remember, like the, the hot dog eating contest was a big people. Yeah, at first it was just a bunch of big people, and he he brought the like the technique to the sport. Mm-hmm. He was was he the guy that wetted him up and then put him in and all that stuff? I think so because, in my opinion. Joey Chestnut stands on the shoulders of uh, Kobayashi. Kobayashi because he's the one that that really broke it down to the science. He was just a machine. He would yeah. break the dogs like chomp, chomp. Yeah. And he, he knew how many bites it took to eat four hot dogs Dog. or whatever he was shoveling in his mouth. I think it was two at a time. And I think so. He would eat the dogs and the buns separately. Oh, that's smart. So he would like chop down chop, the bun. And wet, then, eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What a nutcase. Nutcase. So that was the thing. And I, I used to watch that. Haven't in a long time because I'm not that big on ESPN yeah. anymore. But I do know this year, Joey Chestnut, I don't is believe not in is going to be in it. It's still in Coney Island, right? Still in Coney Island, still that whole thing, still yeah. the Nathan. I believe that he signed a deal with a rival hot dog company, and now they won't let him in that really? competition. So him and Kobayashi are supposed to square off, I think, like Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they're doing their own thing. Their own thing. Yes. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, Battle of the Belts. Battle of the Belts. <laughs> Battle of the Old School. <laughs> How how old do you you know can you are you retiring from uh, competitive eating you know are you too old to compete? <laughs> I don't. Know. So uh, to me, hot dogs are you know the, essential the essential yeah. foods for for July Fourth. Yeah. Then you mentioned what now? Hamburgers. Hamburgers. I haven't had a hamburger in a long time. Oh, That's I love, a, a, I love a good burger. I mean the burgers are so delicious, but. 
You ever go to somebody's house and they 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 they, they get the wrong meat, or or they'll get the wrong, or they get the cheap patties, or you get oh, it's just and yeah, there's, there's and no they, bueno. it's like a, a, a no bueno. It's all a hockey puck, and they yeah. killed it. They murdered it. They murdered it. Yeah, I mean, come on now, it's already dead. It's already dead. Just yeah, you know, give it some sizzle. Aim for medium. Yeah. You know, and, and, and let it be what it is. And let it be what it is. And then if somebody wants some meat, you know, some well done, you can you can throw it back going. on. But don't just assume we're all going to eat this. Yeah. Uh, it's easier to go medium than anything else. Exactly. And how, I'm not gonna lie, because and when you get them, when you buy them in bulk, anyways, they're already the pre, you know, the pre patty frozen mm-hmm. ones. They're kind of thin naturally. So if you're shooting for medium, they're probably already going to be medium well when you're done with them. I got a problem with that. If you're getting the thinny thin joints, oh, those are the worst. Just. Just tell me to pick up some burgers. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> right? Because <laughs> when you start out with the joints like that. For... Actually, once you decide, you're, that's a nice size. The ones I'm talking about are a little bit like this. They're, they're thin. Yeah. They're, they're almost ready to fall over. Like, oh, you got to have them on the whole spatula. Otherwise, yeah. they just kind of, they, they fade out. Yeah. Them ones ain't got a shot. No, bro. not even close. When you can't even see the meat from the bun. Yeah. When you put them in the thing, you're like, what am I eating? eating? I'm eating bread? I'm eating, is this a... <laughs> Is this a sausage? Is like this a sausage a wish sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> if if you can't cater right, just allocate. Yeah. Who needs to, to bring get what? what? Exactly. It's perfectly fine. It's okay. You know, season season your burger patty. Oh, you got to. Naked patty ain't. Wait, yo, at the bare minimum, they have some salt and pepper on it. Okay, but it needs more than that. Exactly. Yeah. Unless unless you're making. No, if you're pattying. And you're already seasoned. <laughs> yeah. Then you're okay. Then you're good. Yeah. The seasoning's in, in there. there. That's you know? perfect. Okay. That's, I love That's that. the way to go. That is the if way to go. If you can afford to buy a big thing of meat mm-hmm. and patty it up yourself, oh. Now I understand. We get it. Not everybody's gonna have the wherewithal, the time, the time, and to do it to do it correctly. But if you're gonna serve me some some, yeah, some burgers, but if you man, can, please do. Please do. Or. At the very least. Get, get the good patties. Salt, pepper. Yeah. A little bit of garlic powder. There it is. Flip, flip. flip. Gucci gang. Uh, it ain't that hard. It's not that hard. <laughs> Give me some kind of seasoning. Yeah. Need a little bit of loving. And don't, like you said, don't need much. Just a little. Tss, no. Yeah. It just needs a little love. You throw some cheese on there. You don't even, you don't got no cheese. You can make it out later, but it is, it needs to be what it is. No cheese. You got to have cheese. But certain people don't eat cheese, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. But you gotta have the all the options. You gotta you gotta have cheese there. I'm not saying you don't you don't buy cheese. Are you a mustard on a on a on a burger? I can eat mustard on a burger, but I it's it's I'm a it depends who makes it, first of all. I can if I make it at home, mm-hmm. um well at Jack's I'll put a I I do like a little I could put a little bit I put a little bit of everything. What's everything? Like mayo? You do mayo I can too? Do mayo, yeah. Okay. I don't I don't mind mayo on a, on a burger. See, I, I, I skip the mayo. What I do is I do... You do mustard and ketchup? I'm, I do mustard and ketchup. Okay, and that's perfectly fine. That, that's that's yeah. for me. No pickle. No, I, you don't need it. Uh, if, I, if there's lettuce, I'll take it, though. Oh, lettuce, tomato. Yeah. Maybe tomato. I mean... Like, it, tomato be wet and out, stuff. You gotta remember, up, outside, right? summer... It's, yeah. I'm not even put it this way. I'll take a good cheeseburger that's seasoned with, just the, with the two condiments. That's and be, true. And be... Completely, you're safe. Content. You can eat that yeah. with one, one you know, hand. Exactly. Now, if I'm at home mm-hmm. and I'm and I'm making it for myself, I will go all out. I'll do the mushrooms and the onions and sauté it and make a little thing. Maybe get some lettuce. I'm Gucci. You know yes. what I mean? I'll spoil myself. But I don't expect me going to somebody's house for that true, to ever true, happen. True, true, true. All I, all I want is a good, tasty burger. Give me some. I give me just something that doesn't make me when I bite into it. I'm not fucking hurting. Okay. <laughs> that you're not already upset. Yes. Looking for alternatives. Absolutely. Now, what do you put on your hot dog? Uh, ketchup and mustard. Ketchup and mustard. Yeah. What's your technique? Uh, I like I like a thin line of each actually. Okay. Yeah. And but I like I'm a when it comes to hot dogs, I'm not a yellow mustard guy. I am a um, not the Dijon. I'm like a Goulden's guy, the spicy mustard. Okay. Like New York style. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. That's, that's just my, I just like it better, and that's how I like my hot dog. How many houses are going to have that? I'll bring my own if I need, if I know. Really? Exactly. Yeah. You, you bring in purse mustard? Yeah. <laughs> the the Gouda's is the move, yo. Pocket mustard? Now, I'm not saying I'm opposed to it. I, I can still eat it with yellow mustard. Mm-hmm. It's not going to kill me, it's, and I'll still do it. But, like I said, if I'm at home, yeah. I got Gouda's in the I fridge, feel you. and it's boom. That's, that's my ideal dog. Listen, I like a hot dog. It's not something I'll eat all the time. No. But if I'm going to, I'm going in with at least three. 
Yeah. I can't eat one hot dog. No, why would you? It, it's like, it's, it's just, mean just it. It, yeah. it just tastes like more. Yeah. And I do, I take uh, as close to the bun as possible. I'll put the condiments because then it, it just yeah. keeps it in there. Mm-hmm. So I do a line of ketchup on one side, a line of ketchup on the other, and one line of mustard. mustard. So I do a two to one ratio. I, I, that's not bad at all. No, I, I mean, I find that to be for me yeah. the best. I don't do any onions and all that stuff. I don't want things. F- I'm, t- I'm, a, I'm partying, man. Yeah. I don't want, you know. So I just. Yeah. And then I, I, I take the thing. I, I do three. Bam, bam, bam. And I'm walking around with the yeah. plate. No, that's perfect. Especially when you're, like I say, when you're out about, you're at a party, having a good time. Yeah. That's the move. Now, if I'm grabbing a hot dog off the street in New York City, and this is not for 4th of July, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I might this is any time. Yeah. I might throw some sauerkraut or something like that on there. Just because when you're in the city, they do it right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's usually a good Sabaret or a Nathan's hot dog. It's a good quality beef hot dog, and it's solid. A little street meat yeah, action. exactly. So, yeah, street <laughs> meat. In uh, New York, I'm going falafel. Oh, I, you, well, know. you love a good falafel. Uh, falafel and, and, and gyros. I haven't had a gyro in a long time. I think the last time I was in D.C., mm-hmm. I believe. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's a few on the. Yes. Especially when you're close like, to, to like, the, the, the ah, you know what I'm talking about. Right yeah, in the middle yeah, where yeah. the pencil's at and everything yes. else. Yeah, there's a bunch of little vendors over there. It's perfect. Uh, yes. I get it. It's like, ooh, yeah. street meat, baby. Yeah. And so you got the hot dogs, you got the burgers, and the barbecue. Yes. That's, the hot dogs and burgers, everybody's got Everybody's that. fine. Everybody's okay with that. Now, Nobody's mad at you. Now, if you want to go, spe- if you want to go extra. Now, the ribs, you got to start from that before. You start, you start seasoning. Oh, now you're talking dirty. Then you, you got you to gotta steam them. Yes. And then you got to grill them. Yes, that's, that's, but that's. Ooh, but you go to a party with some ribs. Yeah. You're, you're oh well you're used, in the right place. Used to be ribs was like, you know, now it's like a thing. Yeah. Like, now it's like ribs now, it's like uh, back in the day oxtails. <laughs> now oxtails is like expensive. Yeah. Back in the day, skirt steak you could get one ninety nine a pound. Mm-hmm. Now skirt steak is like eight ninety nine, ten dollars a pound. Ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. No part of that cow is cheap no, no. more. And it, it what about ribs? Do you are you a stickler for a certain type? Do you like beef ribs? Do you like? I'm good either way. Yeah. As long as they're like, as they have to be seasoned. They have to be solid, yo. They have to have that whole process you just broke down. They you have, can't eat ribs from just yeah, anybody. If it's fall off the bone or or, or nothing else, baby. I want to be able to. I want to be able to bite nothing. Be like, thank you. Okay. I'm not mad. I don't need beef. I can do beef or pork. Mm-hmm. It just needs to have the good flavor, the good barbecue, the good, yeah. the good rib feeling. For me, I like my ribs if I got a side of something. Oh, you know, no, I definitely. gotta have the rolls, or I gotta have like, like some the potato coleslaw. Salad? Oh, tater salad, <sighs> tater salad, ribs and tater salad. Fan, you know, I'm Fantastic. I'm sitting down at this point. Oh yeah, right, yo, I, you you've stopped, yeah, to eat. You st- <laughs> <laughs> your knees buckled together, yeah, and your feet apart, yeah, Yo. and you got the ribs, yeah, Yo. you got your napkins, yeah, like kind of tucked under the plate, absolutely. And you're going to town, bro, absolutely. You got your little plastic fork, and you're going. You're in. You're in there, you're bro. In like Flynn. So the like now those are, I think are the top three. Yeah, oh, right? for sure. What else are you eating on? Now it's, it's just sides, right? Now it's just sides. Now I mean, it's like chips. I mean, oh, you got you got to have you, if you're you always will have chips. If you don't have chips, you're just crazy. Chips are easy. You can grab and move and grab and move. Yeah. You better have chips. If you're blessed, you get some potato salad like we just talked about. Mm-hmm. You know, and, but it should be there. If you're blessed. If you're not, I mean, you got I, some mac and cheese. Ooh. Macaroni salad. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. All the salads play <laughs> on a good barbecue, okay? Macaroni, potato. All except for actual salad. Yeah, no. Nah. Skip it. You don't need and it. I love salad. I know you do. But it ain't a salad holiday. And for him to say that, you already know what it is. Well, you know, you're drinking beer. Yeah, you're well, having... we get to the drinks later. Yeah. Right? So, you're getting... What about... Where you stand on chicken? I love chicken. Uh, on, on 4th of July. I, I can do some wings on chicken. Chicken wings? Chicken wings? Bang. Barbecue chicken wings. Yeah. It's got to be barbecue. Oh. You got to just... It's Everything's got to be, be bar- barbecue. I'm not frying no wings on 4th on, on yeah, of July. We're no. not, the, we're buffalo talk- wings are... No, no. Every time else. Chicken wings <laughs> on the... <laughs> chicken you know, breast. Yes. Chicken thighs. All of that. Chicken oh. legs. As long as... It's, yes, all of it. Just throw it on there. Let it s- and sizzle mm-hmm. and marinate it overnight. And just throw it on the grill and let it fly. Yeah. You know, you could throw some barbecue sauce on it. But if you marinate it right, you don't even need that half the time. That's true. You know, but 
you know, but it's still good. You should still, you have barbecue sauce readily available, throw it a little, little, when it's on that second flip, when you flip it around, it's cooked yes. on both sides. Then you throw the barbecue, let, let it simmer. Let oh. me, let me ask you this. When it comes to barbecue, then we'll move on with, with the chicken. You got the barbecue chicken. It's got mm -hmm. barbecue sauce on it. Are you saucing it after that? Are you, are you a dipper? Or you just you. It's it a, depends. Okay. It depends how heavy they do barbecue sauce on it. It's you can see the barbecue sauce, but it's going. I would. I, I might grab a little bit more. We like to dip into every once in a while, mm -hmm. especially if I got some macaroni, like some like some salads on the side. Mm. Yeah, you know, just to give it a little more flavor while I'm in there. Because at that point, like I said, you're already sitting down. Yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. You're already sitting down. Hopefully now. I and if, but they have chicken breast. You can always turn it into a good old barbecue chicken sandwich. And then that's you, you shoving up a sandwich, bro. Yeah, you can walk around with the chicken sandwich. People looking at you like, "Ooh, what did you just do?" You know, <laughs> You're you, an innovator, you know, bro. You just switched it up on them a little yes. bit. You got barbecue chicken, nice chicken breast on a on a nice hamburger bun. I, I would never thought that. And you're just looking and you're walking. You're you're you. That's you're mobile. You're, you're freedom. Yeah. Okay. You're, <laughs> you're hey. mobile. That's, ah, I got. I see you. That's a professional. <laughs> yeah. Pro move right yeah. there. Yeah. Pro move, my friend. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the sides now. Yeah. Because you don't want to stretch yourself out too much. Absolutely. Another sit-down joint is the corn on the cob. Oh, of course. Now, and, and that, but the issue with that, and it's not an issue, but it's it's mm -hmm. phenomenal on the grill. It's phenomenal on the grill. Because it can cook right on the but grill. But I want it, I want it like boiled. Yes, you do. I, I want it boiled for I 4th feel, of July. Yeah. That gives me the feels. It, it, it's quality. It's ready to come out. You're ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, a good corn on a cob is fantastic. I love it. I like where your head's at. What about the baked beans? I've never been a baked beans guy. I, I don't want to say I hate it, but my association with baked beans isn't there. Like I It's love not big beans. in the islands. Oh, I love some So baked that's beans. when I'm forming my, my gotcha. memories. Okay. So I just don't have that baked beans. So I was like a teenager by the time baked beans came around. Oh. And it was just like, no, oh, I, 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 I dig me some baked beans. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Especially because let's say you're eating a sandwich or even a burger. You could throw a little... The, the sauce with the baked, you might not even need that. Like, like I was talking about when I have, I have baked oh, beans. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't need baked you know, bean sauce. It has the sauce. It's saucy. It's saucy, That's baby. It. So you can kind of mix and dip. You can add that with a little potato salad. Yo, oh, true. It's so true. good. <laughs> I'm probably going to do baked beans and macaroni salad. Don't it, judge me, I'm, but I'm not, yeah. I like the, may, I'm not gonna, the mayo, whatever salad you're talking about, because that mayo <laughs> mixed with that baked bean, it's cold with the little, with that nice warm baked mm -hmm. bean. Oh, it yeah. gives, that gives me the feels. Nice. And what about dessert now? I mean, I mean, like I'm not a big dessert person, but apple pie, baby. Oh yeah. Oh. Apple pie. If you got apple pie, got apple pie. on Fourth of July, you gotta have American <laughs> apple pie. <laughs> Ain't nothing more American than That's apple pie. That's right. Okay. Apple pie, ice cream. If you're so, here's my association with Fourth of July and ice cream is being on the water. And, well, I'm talking, like, by the lake yeah. and all that stuff. And you have all the ice cream vendors in yes, there. Yes, ice cream cone, I, yes. soft serve, uh, whatever. How, either or. It could be, it can be either like or. I like the hard ice cream. I like the hard ice cream, too. On sugar cone or yes. waffle cone. It don't matter. It's a cone. Okay. <laughs> it can be either or. Like we talked about earlier. This is how I, when I innovated the chicken sandwich. Yes. You need to be mobile. You need to be mobile. Yo, the, yes. you don't know what you're going to, you know, the fireworks are going, there's people, it, there's everywhere. Sit down space is a premium. <laughs> Absolutely. So you, you're you going to have to figure out how to walk around. Yeah. And God forbid your plate can't hold shit. Exactly. God forbid you have, I don't, I don't fault anybody for having cheap paper plates. I no. Don't, I don't fault you. You, you double, you double party, triple up, whatever you got to do. You double, triple up. That's fine. Right? But. If you don't have the ridge, no. you ain't having big beans. No, you can't. You got It has to have a little dip. Yeah. It's got to have the ridge. Not the, little, the one, you know the one that just kind of fans out? No, the, 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 the you white. You can't have that. Yeah, no, the no. white yeah, the, stop. The stop. Yeah, no. It needs to have. I ain't have no big I, beans. I buy these everyday plates. They're called everyday plates. They have mm -hmm. them at like Walmart and Aldi's and all those yes. places. And I'll get like 100. And I keep those in the house because they have that little dip. Not big. Just a you little need, quarter inch, but you can it'll hold liquid it needs a little a, bit. It needs a ridge. Yeah. Look at them ridges. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now what about what about what about the watermelon? Ooh. I got watermelon in the fridge right Do now. Do you really? Yes. <laughs> it's summertime, bro. It's summertime. Oh, I love uh, me some watermelon. And watermelon's easy and it's big. True. It's big and it's easy, so you can easily cut it up and everybody can grab some. It's sexy. 
and it's versatile. It is. You can you can liquor it up. Yeah. If you want to, absolutely. You can, you can make that. You can you, spike the watermelon. You, you can have an adult version and a kid version. That's true. That's <laughs> true. And the watermelon chunks that that plays. That yeah. Can go on the plate. It's oh, not yeah. going to be a big deal. No. Separate plate, obviously. Absolutely. And uh, and now now the libations. Oh uh, well. Beer, like you said, yes. off the rip. Mm-hmm. And I don't even drink beer. Um, but I'll have a good Corona on, on Fourth of July. Yeah, I know? feel like I feel. Nothing's more Fourth of July drinking wise than beer. Yeah, because like you can last. Yeah, you know you're out in the sun, you're not going to be going back to the bar constantly. No. You it's going to take you a little bit to drink that beer down. Yeah, like what about what about okay? Are you an iced tea man versus lemonade? Um, that's a great. I like I like both. Honestly, I'm I'm not I'm not indifferent. I, and I like a good Arnold Palmer as well. So it depends on where you are is my answer. Yeah. If I'm down here, I'm not getting no goddamn iced tea. Yeah. Because no, it's no. unsweetened. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> and, yeah, but if you're making it at home, like if you're making iced tea and it's nice and sweet, oh, it's delicious. Yeah, but you're at somebody's party. Party, yeah. Uh, yeah. <sighs> you're right. Usually, I mean, I'll probably get lemonade. Yeah, if I'm in North and, and, Carolina, and, 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 it's, and it's And if it's, it's too it's sweet... Tea. Then I, I can water down the lemonade, which is fine. Yeah, you know that's it's so much easier that way than the other way around. True, you, you can't add True. enough. Yo, you can't add enough sugar to a to an unsweetened iced tea to make it taste like sweet iced tea. It ain't no. It ain't the same because the, the process same. ain't the same. The process ain't the because same. You make when you're making iced tea, sweet iced tea. You're putting that sugar in while it's hot. Yes, and it's boiled. Melt okay? it up. Yes, Melt that's it a, up. That's a whole different flavor, yo. Yo, them sugar. If if you're putting sugar in cold iced tea, you've already you've already failed. It'll be you, the ice, and the sugar staring at each and other. And it's all layered. <laughs> it's all layered. Yo, that sugar be looking up at you. You're like, like, look at me, look at me. And you're stirring. You yeah. can stir for f- like what, 10 minutes? Oh, for sure. And it's going to just be kind of like dancing Not doing, around it, the ice. It still sits at the bottom, yeah. Yes. It'll still, when you drink that whole cup, there's still sugar on the bottom waiting for <laughs> that you. That is so true. <laughs> sugar waiting on you. <gasps> you better off Sweetening it with something else. Like, oh yeah, a simple syrup would be better. Like if if you go through their cabinets and they got some kind of syrup or something, honey, honey, <laughs> agave, anything, anything, you better off it much faster. Yeah, you ain't getting no sugar in there no. when that shit is cold. Not happening. It don't work. And what you gonna stir with it? Exactly. The straw it, ain't enough. You need. You better at the bare, and all you're really gonna have is probably straws. If if they're even that kind of party where they have <laughs> straws, <laughs> that's true. If you're at a party and it got straws, the host knows what the hell, the hell they're, they're doing. doing. You know? Yeah. They know what they they're doing. You. Yes. They they've thrown you. a party or they've two before. A, yeah, they've done this before. Yeah. I'm telling you, the little things make a party. Oh, yeah. The little things, such as a big ass garbage can. Oh, yeah. Two. Yes. But at the bare minimum, one of the big round. Right? The, yo, yeah. You so know was, what you're doing. You know exactly what you're yeah, doing. You got your, your patrons looking for garbage. No, no. And and, and they should be, at the, the depending on the size of the land that you're mm-hmm. dealing with, you kind of want them in certain places. You want more than one. You want more than one, you but want, you want the big one in the high traffic. Yo, you want the big one, actually. You usually put the big one right by the food. True. Okay. Not, True. Not, not directly close because you don't want trash and food too close to each other. Okay. But close enough to where but you on, can where you can see the food and you can see the trash. You should have so to you look know for where it. you're going to throw that trash when you're done with your food. Yes, it's like okay. Inception. Yeah. Oh, I saw the trash. Oh, early. boom! I walk right by it <laughs> on my way to the food. This is where the trash belongs. And I'm not talking hanging up a bag because you no. need to be doing the trash with one hand. I am talking. We're talking like the big. Like if you live up north. We're talking about the ones you put your leaves in in the winter. I mean, in yeah, the fall, buddy. that you dump. Those are the trash cans we're talking about. Yeah, buddy, <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> we're gonna leave you on this now. We did the food, we did the meats, we did the sides, we did the drinks. Yes, we touched upon the chips a little bit. Chips and dip. Oh, where you going with the chips and dip? Uh, now, you- if somebody, if you have a good friend that makes some good guacamole. That's always fire. But the problem with guacamole is it will it might get bad in the sun. So, and it's not American. It's not American. Okay. Right? You want, Salsa, not American. Exactly. You're looking for, what is it, the the sour, was it sour? Um, sour cream and onion? Yeah. Or, like the, the, um, or the, like that, that how they do like that, that, the ranch dip and all yes, that. Yes, the ranch dip. You're looking for the whiter dips. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm only, I'm talking about the dips are white, not that they're white. Yes. <laughs> 
didn't have to explain, but I know what you're it's talking a, yeah. about. Listen, I don't. Maybe it's just or not a buffalo my, chicken dip. The chips gotta be ridged. Oh yeah. Or they they gotta be thick. No, no, they gotta be ridged. They gotta be ridged, yeah. right? Ridges, ridges are the are the chips for, for the those kind of dips. It's the only way to go. Cause then yeah. dips, ain't, they dips ain't, they. You're not putting lays. No. In, into no. some dip, okay? No. It just it doesn't. Lays the, don't. They, they, they ain't made yo, for dipping. They, it's, you can stack all the the, the lays yo, you want. One, it's it ain't not working. happening. It's breaking. In your hand, almost. What you're making there is a is a is a soup. Yeah. <laughs> You know, if you bring Lay's, I mean, Lay's, Pringles, it ain't happening. No, no, you need ridges. You need ruffles. Yeah. Do they still make ruffles? Yes, I think so. Man, because I've been buying these, uh, the Boulder, the Boulder chips. Okay. They got a nice uh, salt and pepper. Is that from like Aldi's? Mm -mm. No, no, no. Uh, you, you get them uh, almost any grocery store. They have an avocado oil, salt and pepper. Oh, that okay. I cannot... Really? Stop eating these things. We'll, we'll, we'll put a picture in, in, in the... in the. I'll show it. I, yeah. I mean, shout out to like Boulder. Boulder makes some good, good okay. ass chips. I Let, love them. Give these people the, the options. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I feel like Ridges, I mean, uh, Ruffles are... Ruffles are the best. <laughs> at least back, used to be. I yeah. don't know. They, they, they hold well in the dips we're talking about. Tell me, uh, it, let us know in the comments what chips are in right now. Yeah. Because... I, I love the one set of chips, mm -hmm. but if you're having a barbecue... Chips with dip, I I feel like it has to be Ruffles. And I feel like the, the, that dip lasts way longer than any guacamole you Oh, for have. sure. Any guacamole you go I have. mean, nobody's saying you can't have guacamole. No, no, no. Have the guacamole, yeah. but you're going to need some refrigeration. Yeah, yeah. Have the guacamole. Have your little three bean dips. I've seen all, you know... the you Okay. Can, nobody's mad if you make something like that. Yeah. But remember... If you're talking the quick boom, ch ah, you want the you want the ruffles, you want it in a nice either ranch or all that exactly what we're talking about, and that's the fourth baby. That's the fourth baby. <laughs> Enjoy your fourth. We will see you next time. I'm Marlon Joseph, the moderator. I'm Danny DeVillain. Subscribe, 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 people. Later. Later. Snares <laughs> that kicks the bars. I wear jewelry and I ride nice cars, but that don't determine who I are. You see.